Negroes frequently appear. And whenever they do, always, I believe, in relations of infer- inferiority to other races, mm-hmm. whether Caucasian, Semitic, or Nilotic. So no matter what, every other race, the Negro was always in the servitude position and the processions, no matter what. We was always slaves in each captivity. We're going to keep going. Keep going. With whom they are grouped. If there, if there is any exception to this, I am not aware of it. They are sometimes bound in chains. So Negroes, I'll say it again. Negroes are sometimes bound in chains. Go on. And led as captives. And led as captives. Read. In the trains of victorious generals returning from the wars. At others in the established relations of, of slavery. slavery. Right. Negroes under ancient Egypt is bound under chains, is carried as war captives. Now go to we are told. We are told that the Negro was a stranger in Egypt. Mm. Mm. We are wait, wait, read that again. <laughs> we are told that the Negro was a stranger in Egypt. Can you get me Genesis chapter 15? And also remember what was brought out earlier in the Zondervan Bible Dictionary of Ham. Remember who Ham is. Father of the dark race, but not the Negro. This is why this is imperative right here. Mm -hmm. Genesis 15, verse 13. Genesis chapter 15, verse 13. And he said unto Abram, Know of a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs. So thy seed... The Israelites will be a stranger in a land which is not theirs. Read. And shall serve them, and they shall afflict them 400 400 years. years. So the same position that we have in ancient Egypt is the same position we have in America. Because Malcolm X and many different of uh, black activists always stated the Negro has been in America for over 400 years. History repeating itself. So now it says, I said of thy seed... They shall be a stranger in the land that is not theirs. Read that again. Go on. Jess. An alien in a foreign land. We are told that the Negro was a stranger in Egypt. An alien <laughs> in a foreign land. The Israelite. We're going to pl- replace a Negro with the Israelite was a stranger in the land of Egypt. An alien in a foreign land. Go on. And that in the ancient world, the alien was uniformly regarded as an enemy. Mm-hmm. And was most commonly reduced to slavery. Mm. And that the relations in which he appears on the monuments of the Nile resulted from his position as an alien. <laughs> now, let's get the next page. Page three, right, Cap? Mm-hmm. Passing from the monumental. To the historic period, we obtain precisely the same result. The presence of the Negro in the ancient world is a fact which meets us everywhere. So the presence of the Negro, now we're highlighting because our history tends to stop at the transatlantic slave trade. Now, like I said, as the Most High has opened our eyes, we're able to go a little further back and tie our records to the ancient Israelite civilization. Now, scholars are showing you, not through the eyes, through the Israelites, but they're showing you that the Negroes, not only in America under the transatlantic slave trade, but had the same servile and position in ancient Egypt, but not only Egypt alone, but everywhere they had the same position.